Okay, here we are in my attic, which is currently in a state of uh, deconstruction, but uh, just taking a look at some uh, vintage mics that are uh, kind of interesting. Uh, the, you're hearing me now through a Sony ECM-50 PSW uh, lav mic, but we're going to get the audio on some of these others in just a moment. On the end here is a Sony ECM-51, uh, which is, uh, was quite common on uh, game shows and such in the 70s, Match Game, and The Price is Right, etc. Gene Rayburn, Bob Barker. Uh, it was also used uh, by some of the networks for political coverage. And uh, it's a telescoping mic. It's pretty, pretty unique. Um, uses the same uh, capsule as the ECM-50 I'm talking through right now. Uh, next up here is an Electra Voice uh, 664, which was a uh, pretty common uh, mic back in the day. It can also be used as a hammer. Uh, it uses uh, Electra Voice's uh, technology to reduce prox proximity effect. Um, I should have mentioned the uh, ECM-51 is a uh, Omnidirectional mic. Uh, the 664 is a cardioid. Uh, up next is the Electra Voice 655C. This is uh, there were a couple of designs. This was the later design, but it was meant to be a uh, have fairly flat response. It's omnidirectional. Uh, in their advertisements, uh, Electra Voice uh, would uh, promote it as being, you could put one mic above an orchestra and have it uh, capture everything, uh, you know, just, with just the one mic. Um, it was also popular as a, uh, a stick mic, uh, probably most famously used by Dick Clark throughout uh, almost all of his career. And on the end here is the Electra Voice 644, which was known as the Sound Spot, and it was uh, an early attempt at a, a shotgun design. Uh, they, in their literature, they talked about um, how it could be used uh, to reduce feedback, and uh, also you could keep it farther away from the source. Uh, as the specs note, it, uh, the, in the specifications, it only goes up to 12 kilohertz, and I'm not even sure if it goes up that high if you uh, take a listen to it. And then uh, all of that is, all of this is being recorded on a uh, Tascam DR680 Mark II. And uh, I'll, uh, got everything leveled out pretty closely now, but um, I'll level it out in post so that the, the, the uh, levels are all pretty even. But uh, we're just going to pause here a second, and then I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and we can test these mics out. All right, hopefully you can see me here. Uh, we're just gonna go down the line and uh, check out each one of these mics. Uh, right now, the sound is coming through the, uh, the ECM-50 lav, but uh, I'll switch it to each of these as we get to them. So here's the uh, Electra Voice 644. I'm pretty close to it right now, about uh, an inch or two away, uh, straight on access. Uh, I'll move back a few inches here so you can hear what it sounds like from a distance. Uh, here's about uh, 45 degrees off access, and here's 90 degrees off access. Uh, let's move on to the uh, 655C here. Uh, again, here's uh, about two inches or so uh, on access. Uh, move back a little bit, uh, still on access. Here's about 45 degrees off access, and here's about 90 degrees off access. Here's the uh, Electra Voice 660, 664. Again, here's uh, pretty close uh, on access, but an inch or two. Uh, move back a little bit. Uh, here's about uh, about six inches or so on access. And here's about 45 degrees off access. And here's about 90 degrees off access. And finally, here's the uh, Sony ECM-51. Again, on access, about uh, two or three inches away. Uh, still on access, about uh, six inches away or so. There's uh, 45 degrees off access. 
And here's about 90 degrees off axis. And then I'm just going to back up and kind of speak into all these from uh, maybe about a foot and a half, two feet away. Um, so you can get an idea. I'll, uh, I'll kind of cycle through these. Uh, here's the uh, Electro Voice 644. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, here's the Electro Voice 655C. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the Electro Voice 664. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here's the Sony ECM 51. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully, this was mildly interesting and uh, just let me know. Thanks.